Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to draw a structure using CamDraw. So let's start with a structure, a simple structure. Using the main toolbar tools of CamDraw, we are going to draw the structure of benzoic acid. For making benzoic acid, you need a benzene ring. To start with a benzene ring, you have two ways. Either you can directly take this benzene ring template and use a single bond and you have you can write here using text option you can write here COOH you can also make it using cyclohexane ring and then you can use this double bond arrow on this click on this left button of the mouse and then click on this then use the single bond here click on this and I'm currently now I'm making going to make a double bond with the single bond two times so we have now using the text option you can click here and you can use caps lock O and then OH So this is another this is another uh, way to draw benzoic acid you can also draw using single solid lines i'm going to draw the solid lines like this like this but the alignment is not good for this purpose what we we'll, what we'll need to do what we'll what we'll do is to go to object apply object setting from acs 1996 I'm setting it as a default option so it's not it's the bond angle bond lengths are according to ACS 1900 but it's not correct now the structure clean up structure so it's cleaned up so cyclohexane ring has been drawn and now you can add uh, double bonds in it and single bond again And just click on this oxygen here I'm adding oxygen OH in case you don't want to add OH there's another way I'm just erasing this and on this cursor there's no uh, text option is off right now i'm just uh, just putting my cursor over it and when it it becomes blue i'm just writing o it it becomes oh if you want to put lone pair in it then you can click on the lone pairs so the o has got lone pairs on this o as well so this is the way of drawing panzoic acid. Now you can draw some substitutions. Let's draw bromine. Single bond here, 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 here. So I'm just increasing this chain. Just at the end of the alkyl chain, you can just click it. At the end of the solid line, you can just click it. There will be another line. So let's uh, discuss how to add some more substituent, substituents in it. If you want to write CH3, then you just need to write CH3 and 3 will be automatically in, in its subscript form. If you want to write C2H5, it will be in its uh, subscript. The numerical values automatically in the subscript. If I want to write here NH2, if I write here N, um, it's, it's the text option you can manually write NH2. And if I want to, if I don't want to use the text option, if I don't want to use the text option, I can just place N over here, then it becomes sodium. 
I don't want sodium over here. That's why if you want nitrogen over here, what you need to do is to press press shift and N. Then it will become NH2. If you want to, if I have not selected the text option right now, so I'm going to select, if I, I don't want to use the text option, then I, I don't need to click on it. I just put my cursor over it and press shift. I will press O, oxygen, it will show an ether linkage. Then if you want to uh, draw a sulfur over here, if you draw just S over here, it will become silicon. However, I'm going to remove it. Now for sulfur, I will press shift and S. Oh, sorry. Shift and S. It's sulfur now. Then at the text option, I would write here CH3, CH2, CH2. Okay. Once you are done with the structure, then you can select it using the marquee button. You can just select it, copy it. And paste it anywhere on any word format, uh, word format file or any 